So hi, this is Darren Henry here, and you know this is how I learned to create games. So uh, I'm basically from Tamil Nadu South, but I was born in Kalyan, Maharashtra. You know, uh, that is where I've done my schooling till my third standard, and from fourth I've come to Wapi, Gujarat since my dad got transferred, and here is where I've done most of my schooling, and I was done my graduation in bachelor's in computer applications. So, like you know, remembering the first game, like you know, with which I fell in love with is like, of course, it's Super Mario. Like you know, <clears throat> so I've spent like a lot of my childhood days like playing those Super Mario games, and we also have had this Super Contra, and like you know, Retro Land, and uh, and later on we started having games like Angry Birds, and going more further, uh, I started off playing with like more of social games like you know, Farmville. um clash of clans clash royale and on later stage like you know after my during my college days we were more into like mini militia pubg and like you know the games which were more like uh, engaging with my friends and you know, like you know which had that more of a competitive spirit so like you know before the time uh, i thought of like you know becoming a game developer or like you know getting into the gaming industry so i had no clue of something such as game development even existed so talking about my prior background so my, during my 11 to 12th i went i took science and after that uh, i pursued my bachelor's in computer applications so during the final year of my graduation it was a beginning stage of the covid lockdown and uh, you know i was figure out figuring out things so like most of the people what they do is like you know they go out to do masters like after the bachelors so like you know i was just like you know making use of the time which i had so what can be done after the bachelors or like you know what are the options available so i came across like you know few courses like uh, even outscale outscales full stack game development courses also one of such courses so like you know the 6 7 months boot camp courses which you know train you to, to be uh, industry ready job ready and you know to work in the industry so when i initially brought this thing of you know getting into game development to my parents so they were like <clears throat> the uh, the idea which they the picture which came into their mind was like you know game development is something like a uh, creating animations graphics and like you know it is more of uh, a graphic designing thing or like like max to max uh, graphic designing with animations so like you know it they had no clue like this has also something to do with coding even like you know initially i also like really doubted but i just got to know he this also involves like coding and you know problem solving when i saw the course content initially so <clears throat> i think in the orientation also i had asked my young like you know how much uh, what what percentage of game development includes coding so my young was like it's almost like uh, more than 60% so i was like acha so when i started exploring the you know boot camp courses online so uh through google search only i came across outscale's website and initially like uh, i was looking for a uh, full stack web development courses like not game development courses so like initially like i just like filled in my details on outscale's website and you know i didn't show much interest in the beginning so satnam ji uh, you know he had reached out to me and he had asked me to attend the orientation uh conducted by mayan can you know so that later on uh, i started off with a trial for like two weeks then after the trial eventually i got into the course like you know i took a ch- like i took a chance <clears throat> you can also say that so like you know i had to i took a chance that got into the course and uh, that's how my journey of you know developing games started so the first game which we like you know uh, created uh, during the course at outscale was a 2d platformer game uh, you know the character name was like elen so it was kind of a like super mario game but like uh, i would say uh, like having better graphics having better graphics and like you know which look little more advanced than super mario so you know so 
we started off with like uh, the character movement then the character jumping uh moving forward backward and you know then later on uh it went on to like creating enemies attacking attacking the enemies defeating the enemies. so like you know it went on like step by step and in the end like uh, we had a game created with multiple levels like you know each levels having their own difficulties collecting collectibles in the levels and you know uh, adding up to your scores and uh, creating a full fledged game so so this was like you know my first game uh, which i made and lots of memories like you know while uh, learning concepts uh, while creating it and eventually i kept on building it and once the game was fully like you know created so that gave me a great, great satisfaction and uh, when you share the, the stuff you know with with your friends and your family members like you know this is something which i created so like and when they sit on to play it so it gives you a great feeling like you know ki i did something great so uh while doing the course and out skills so we uh we were told like you know there were candidates who were like placed uh i think in the third of in the fourth or fifth month it's uh, like you know while doing the course like it was not like out scale giving their resume like uh, referring their resume to the companies it was like companies reaching out to them on linkedin uh, you know seeing their profile and stuffs so that gave me the like initially like you know i was not very active on linkedin i just like created a profile for name sake but uh, i think it was my ego pushed us like you know to be more active and start posting stuff and like whatever you do on a daily basis like you know be accountable to the public and keep posting stuff let people know what you do like you know how what is your progress and stuff so once we started doing it so slowly slowly we had people like you know uh mainly the hrs and the recruiters like you know who started approaching me and uh, but by that time like you know i was not fully prepared like you know to join to give to sit for the interviews and so i was mainly told like you know to focus on my preparations for now but like uh, you can like still uh, give the interviews but like don't uh, compromise your preparations and like you know just like focus on the interviews so so every interview turned out to be a learning process for me like you know so in every interview i got to know what what are my back flaws and like you know what are the, what are the things i need to improve on so in every inter- interview i like initially i was not cracking the interviews but like i kept on getting better and better after each interview so once i started giving the interviews my learning curve like you know uh, started going more up like so yeah so like so once i started like cracking the interview so one at one point of time i was on a stage like you know to talk like to compare the offers like you know which company is giving me initially it was like you know whether i would even get a single job and at one point of time it was like um, which company is giving me the better offers so like you know comparing comparing each other's offer showing one company the, the pre- other company's offer and like you know making them to increase the offer like that was really fun so uh, <clears throat> so uh, in the end i had reached uh, you know to this point so i chose to like join the startups like the reason why i joined applied souls is like it was uh, one thing it was a startup they and the second thing uh, it, they were doing pretty much like pretty cool work okay okay so the reason why i joined implied souls is like you know the first thing uh, i really like the work which they were doing like you know creating amazing stuffs uh, i had seen some of their works and uh, the second thing is that like, uh, they were like it was a remote work remote job and uh, the third thing i felt the founder was very like you know supportive and he was uh, <clears throat> very much looking forward to my growth and like you know he uh, accepted me as uh, he accepted me in that stage when i joined in initially as a fresher mm-hmm. and uh, you know the, like how much how how he motivated me like you know to be a genuine developer so those are the reasons i chose to like you know join implied souls so currently i'm working at madova games so you know it is a us based company which has which also has offices in india so before i joined in they had offices you know running in india but uh, when i joined in like you know so during the covid it's 
during the covid period only the entire team like you know got to work remotely so when i joined in i directly uh, joined uh, remotely so uh, our main genre is like you know working on bubble shooter games so bubble shooter 2 2d bubble shooter games is our main genre and we have one of the best bubble shooter games in the market and uh, you know we have like lots many lot many titles in terms of bubble shooter games like bubble shooter space dream pop uh, princess pop kitten pop uh, you just you just name it toy pop and uh, bubble shooter pro bubble shooter original bubble shooter classic uh, you know a uh, farmer pop beach pop so we have like you know n number of titles uh, <clears throat> n number of theme n now n number theme bubble shooter games so currently i'm working on bubble shooter space which is our, which is a new launch so we just launched it a few months back so we are getting like pretty um, pretty nice pretty good response from the audience like you know people are just loving it having a space kind of like outer space experience like you know uh playing those popping those bubbles and so it's a mixture of like you know uh, uh, enjoying popping the bubbles matching the enjoying popping the match bubbles and having a outer space experience so <clears throat> so once you like uh, play that game so you would have those experiences so currently i'm fully like into bubble shooter space so i would say like you know game development is something very interesting you know something if you do it very passionately you would love it like you know your work life would be very crazy and you would create like a pretty great stuff and uh, i would i would say it's not an easy journey to get into game development like you know you have to like show full commitment and dedication in terms of learning in terms of you know building projects in terms of showing perfection uh, in your work and <clears throat> so it 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 game i would say game dev- game development is i would say the gaming field uh, i would say the gaming industry is such like you know which does full justice to your skills so <clears throat> i would say uh, you 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 may, you may come across other industries like you know which like won't do full justice to your skills but i would say the gaming industry is not such <clears throat> it would do full justice to your skills but you just have to like uh, prove your skill set to the to the to the companies like you know which approach you uh, for interviews so it is a challenging path but also it is a very uh, it is a field like you know which you would love and enjoy at the same time